Canelo has fought 18 different world champions. Only Floyd Mayweather has beaten him. I think really the, the Canelo Bivol fight was about the challenge of the weight, but Dimitri Bivol is a man that's been talked about in boxing for a long time as someone who's got ability well beyond the opposition that he's faced. And there was always the danger in that fight that this guy was really good. This guy was not just a world champion, this guy was the best in the division. This guy was a pound for pound great. And he went on to prove it on Cinco de Mayo. Biggest moment of Dimitri Bivol's career and he has risen to the occasion thus far. But you can see when Bivol throws the one-twos like this, he is scoring. And these are bothering Canelo. You can see the, the forehead of Canelo getting red in as well. I think Canelo Alvarez, you know, I, I'm sure he had his problems in camp and, and people do, but I think that what we saw was a pound for pound great in Dimitri Bivol, you know, who was just too big and too strong and, and maybe too good on the night for Canelo Alvarez. And, you know, there was a lot of people in boxing that it didn't surprise, but it probably did surprise Team Canelo. Canelo is known to take on big challenges, fighting the best. He might have bit off too much than he could chew here tonight. I think the atmosphere, you know, when people realized that Canelo Alvarez was in a real fight, it was bubbling, and then as the fight progressed and Dimitri Bivol started to run away from the fight, it was depressing for the Mexican fans. You know, Dimitri silenced them and, and really uh, used his size and his skill to, to win rounds and dominate the fight against Canelo Alvarez. He's always staying in control, not giving up control. Oh. Stop. Yeah, he's frustrated. of Dimitri Bivol after the fight, it really says this didn't surprise me. You know, ice running through this man's veins. I don't think his pulse rate really ever changes. He's ice cold, he's a dangerous man, and he's ready for all comers. He's still I think what Dimitri Bivol proved that night is not only is he a pound for pound great, but in my opinion, he's the number 175 pounder in the world. Of course, he wants to be undisputed. A fight with Artur Betebiev is also dawning, but right now, faces arguably one of the toughest tests of his career in Zerdo Ramirez, a true 175 pounder, former world super middleweight champion, undefeated as well, who wants to create his own legacy in the sport and beat a pound for pound great in Dimitri Bivol. Champion of the world, Dimitri Bivol. It's interesting, I mean, on one hand, Canelo Alvarez wants Zerdo to win for Mexico. On the other hand, Canelo probably wants Bivol to win because he wants to make sure he gets his hands on him for the rematch. And Bivol must win to land that Canelo Alvarez rematch. And maybe he'll want to go on and fight for Undisputed as well. But Zerdo may be looking for the victory to push his own narrative for a Canelo Alvarez fight. So, so much in play on so many levels. I think this is the perfect fight to kick off the Champion Series. You know, a true epic matchup at 175 pounds, a pound for pound great in Dimitri Bivol against a fantastic undefeated fighter in Zerdo Ramirez. Such an important fight for the division, such an important fight for boxing. A huge undercard with plenty of world championship action. And as I said, the perfect way to kick off the Champion Series in Abu Dhabi.